Hi everybody, today I've got a very weird retrofit plate. This weird device right here is the FCI B slash STW strobe plate. It was originally manufactured by Faraday and Cerberus Pyrotronics, and the original Pyrotronics model number, I believe, is the S17S-6060H. It's a weird looking device. It, it has a horizontal strobe, as opposed to a vertical one, and it has the fire lettering underneath, so it's kind of hard to see. Especially if you were looking straight on. Like other strobe plates of this time, like the Wheelock VLPM-24, which has the vertical WM series strobe on top of it. Where you can see from this side and this side. With this one, you kind of have to peek underneath to see the fire lettering. And I don't know why it was designed that way. For comparison here, I have the VLPM, and I also have this Wheelock RSSP241575. Both of these were made for basically mounting bells, like the Wheelock MB series bells, on top, as opposed to having a horn strobe. And they're both much larger than the B-STW. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why they made such a small retrofit plate. I don't know if it was to make it more compact or what, but it's really weird. Like, these two you'd more often see, but this is just... I've never seen anything like it before. I've only seen it on eBay. And I know the SDX has a non-ADA version of this. I don't know if he sold it or not since he basically sort of semi-retired. But he had something similar to this, and he had a 6020 mounted on top of this. Uh, I don't know, it's just like, this retrofit plate is really weird looking. More so compared to these. And I guess while I'm here, I'll do a little demonstration of the VLPM. Let's go. Alright. And I'll also do a demonstration of the RSSP. Alright. So here's the label, here's the label of the device, but as you can see, B slash STW. And the weird thing about this, as opposed to the other devices I have here, is that you can't see the wires from the front when you have a device mounted on top of this, but you actually sort of can with this, and you can definitely see them without the device, without the MTL. So like they're running directly from the strobe to the horn in this scenario, which isn't really all that ideal. It's like not a good design, but you can't really notice it when you have a device mounted on top of it, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't know, the in this whole strobe plate's just designed weird. It's small and it's fire links underneath and, and that's a thing. So I guess in a second I'll just test these two together. So, lower your volume. Alright, now it's time to test the device. I do have this wired up, so turn down your volume, please. Alright.
Alright, that's enough of that. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of this really weird strobe plate and the MTL. Please like, comment, and subscribe.